Welcome to the Dalkeith High School Summer School Presentation 2022. So what is the DHS Summer School and why are only certain pupils able to access it? So first of all, it's important to remember that everyone's journey in school looks slightly different. In S4, some people will have six exams, whereas others may only have one, two or no exams at all. But that is absolutely okay. We all work and learn at different paces and it's important to remember that. The summer school will take place throughout study leave, which is four weeks in May, and is an opportunity for pupils sitting up less than three exams to actually engage with a range of opportunities to achieve and learn through a wide range of experiences, and we pride ourselves on giving pupils those opportunities here at Dalkeith High School. So why should young people take part in the DHS summer school? Well, firstly, it creates opportunities for them to achieve and attain in different ways. It provides outdoor learning experiences and opportunities, it allows them to gather further national qualifications during this time, four weeks in May. Develop any leadership skills through a vari variety of opportunities that I'll discuss later. Gives them an opportunity to actually work closely with employability experts. It further enhances their team building and communication skills through, again, the range of opportunities they're going to be given that I will discuss in a moment. And it's good for them to understand that learning in school doesn't just take place in the classroom. So what exactly is on offer at the Dalkeith High School Summer School? The first activity I'll discuss is Mr Duncan's Leadership Award. This will involve two groups of up to eight pupils. It involves three activities, canoeing, mountain biking and hiking. And Mr Duncan has also stated that there could potentially be time for fishing as well and they will have an opportunity to develop leadership qualities and learn a wide range of new skills through these experiences. So here's an image of the canoes that the school have recently invested in that young people will be using. An example of um, an outdoor learning experience such as hiking that takes place the Duke of Edinburgh Award. So it'll be a similar sort of hike for the, the young people throughout this um, summer school experience. And finally, the mountain bikes the school invested in recently, we have all of the kit, all of the gear required for young people to have a safe and enjoyable experience in the local forest or woods or wherever Mr Duncan is going to be taking them to uh, complete their award. The next opportunity is Mr McGlade's Forest and Outdoor Learning Award that young people will get to engage with. So this is a f through the forest schools, this takes place in a woodland or natural environment to support the development of a lifelong relationship between learners and the natural world and they will learn a range of skills uh, with Mr McGlade throughout this four week period. And again there will be two groups for this. So here are some examples of the kind of activities that they will engage with. Team building, developing resilience and generally just developing a lot of different skills that will help to shape these young people. The next opportunity is the Golden Grey Soccer Academy. Golden Grey Soccer Academy have actually been engaging with the school for the last number of months um, and working with a lot of um, S1 and S2 pupils. But this is an opportunity for senior phase. So Golden Grey Soccer Academy, it's about player development and footballing philosophy, and but it's also about having fun. So whether young people are don't play football or if they're actually quite a developed player, then it's an opportunity to get to that next level and just develop different skills, whether that's, again, resilience or communication or reflection, but it happens through um, football with Golden Grey Soccer Academy. The next is Mr Andreo's Science Extravaganza. So Mr Andreo will be creating opportunities for young people to learn about the different sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, for example, uh, and also get an opportunity to gather more SCQF points and perhaps even more national qualifications as a result. And Mr. Andreo will be providing lots of fun activities to ensure that learning is uh, active and engaging for the young people through a, a series of different experiments and just to enhance their learning experience throughout this, their time in science. Next is furniture building with CDT. Mr. Ambrose has stated that there will be opportunities for young people's young people who enjoy working with their hands um, and he will be running weekly sessions to help teach young people how to actually build pieces of furniture. So I think one of the examples he used was a, a coffee table. So young people will learn how to build different items throughout this time. Next is the employability opportunity for our young people. 
so pupils will have the opportunity to work closely with Lee Bernard, who's our DYW representative, and Barbara Moyer, who's a careers advisor within the school, um, and they will be exploring uh, different opportunities with local employers and um, also looking at job search techniques, filling out applications, CVs, discussing interview skills and the selection processes for um, when applying for jobs and just generally giving them every opportunity possible to increase their chances of achieving that, that job that they really want after school. The next opportunity is actually working closely with the Army. The Army will be coming to the campus for one day only, which is Friday the 6th of May, and they'll be coming from 9am until 12pm. So they will work closely through a range of different activities that will be putting the pupils' um, skills to the test, and they will be developing uh, a range of um, attributes and skills such as teamwork, resilience, initiative, the problem solving, the leadership skills, organisational skills, and finally developing their communication skills. Next is the Mental Health and Wellbeing Award. Midlothian expert Julia Ellison will be coming in on, on a weekly basis to help the young people gain this award over the four weeks uh, within May. Next is a bit more of a, a normal school experience uh, that is focused on qualification gathering for young people. So for young people who would like to gain more qualifications and add um, those to their CV or in, indeed increase their SCQF points, then actually spending some one-to-one -one time with members of staff from our Support for Learning base um, to really kind of focus and get further qualifications um, will really enhance their opportunities uh, to access jobs and employment or further education after school. And so, for example, if a young person has sciences and English and maths, but they don't have any social subjects such as history, then the member of staff from the Support for Learning Base can actually work one-to-one -one with that young person to help them gain some sort of qualification in history or modern studies. Next, Mr Copeland and Mr McDonald will be running a 3D workshop uh, in the art department that will allow young people to work with clay and create sculptures and uh, even stop motion animations. So Mr Copeland's background is actually in sculpture and Mr McDonald's is actually in animation. So uh, the young people will have access to um, experts within the, that specific area and they'll have an opportunity over the four weeks to create a piece of artwork or an animation that they can cherish for a long period of time. Next is an opportunity to develop your salon skills. So Natalie will be working closely with young people in our salon uh, to develop skills such as cutting and styling hair and um, importantly, enhancing the customer service skills. So we're getting a full experience of what it takes to actually work within the industry. Next is butchery. Now home economics is a popular subject within the school and Mr Robertson has decided to put on two two-hourly sessions per week throughout the four weeks of May to enhance the young people's understanding and their skills in butchery. So pupils will learn how to di cut different types of meat, fillet fish and eventually learn how to cook the meats to a certain standard. So what does a DHS summer school week look like? So there are seven periods in a normal school day. So on the first week of the summer school, the Monday would look like an employability morning. So that's with Barbara Moyer and with Lee Bernard to develop their employability skills. The Golden Grey Soccer Academy will take place throughout the day and that's for 20 pupils. Mr Andreo's Science Extravaganza will take place in the afternoon, so after the normal lunchtime. And Mrs Fraser will be doing a national qualification gathering for any pupils interested. On a Tuesday, Mr Duncan's Leadership Award uh, will take place in it's that's the first group and there will be eight pupils in this. Mr McGlade's Forcing Outdoor Learning will also have a group that morning and in the afternoon Natalie will be doing the salon skills with any young people who are interested to develop to develop those particular skills. Later in the, at the same time in the afternoon Mr Robertson will be doing his butchery class. On a Wednesday, again, Mr Duncan's Leadership Award, but this will be for Group 2, and that's for a, a separate eight pupils. Julia Ellison will be working closely with any interested pupils on gaining the Mental Health and Wellbeing Award. And in the afternoon, Mrs Tate will be doing further national qualification gathering for pupils that are interested to add any further SEQF points or qualifications to their CVs. On a Thursday, 
Mr McGlade's second group for the Forest Outdoor Learning will take place and in the afternoon the Salon Skills by, with Natalie, that group will then meet on a Thursday as well as a Tuesday. CDD fur CDT Furniture Building will also take place on a Thursday morning and Mr Robertson's Butchery will take place again on a Thursday afternoon, so that's a Tuesday and a Thursday for Butchery. The Three Dimensional Art with Mr McDonald and Mr Copeland will also take place on a Thursday morning. Finally, on a Friday, Mr Andreo's second part of his Science Extravaganza Week will take place in the morning and Mrs Fraser's National Qualifica Qualification Gathering will be an option for young people as well. Employability's second um, stint of the week will take place again just kind of midday and the Army will be coming in the first Friday, so the 6th of May, to work with young people from 9 till 12. So how do young people actually sign up for the DHS Summer School? A spreadsheet has put, been put onto the Google Classroom and shared with the young people so they can actually choose the opportunities they'd like to engage with throughout the month of May. So it's simply a case of them selecting the appropriate row with their name and selecting the arrows in each box within their row for each activity and selecting yes or no from the drop down menu. Pupils need to keep in mind that they will be required to engage with the summer school and parents will be informed through this video as well as uh, the newsletter from Mrs Dobson and this will all be accessible on the website. The deadline for young people to complete uh, the spreadsheet will be Wednesday the 5th of April and some people have already started to do so and that will allow me to collate um, individual timetables for each young person. If any young people or families have any questions about the DHS Summer School or about this presentation then please do not hesitate to get in touch with us at the school on the school phone number or by actually contact us, contacting us directly at the school's email address which is at the bottom of this slide here. Um, we are really excited about the opportunities that we are providing young people throughout the summer school and we're looking forward to all the young people engaging and getting the most they can from school throughout the month of May. Thank you.